Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. The DTC P16E8 indicates a communication error between the powertrain control module, PCM, and the shutter grille via the local interconnect network, LIN. This error can affect various vehicle functions, particularly involving the vehicle's aerodynamics and engine cooling mechanisms controlled by the shutter grille. The shutter grille is located at the front of the vehicle and plays a crucial role in managing airflow to enhance engine efficiency and improve fuel economy. The PCM, also situated in the engine compartment, processes signals and controls various components based on input data. When this communication error occurs, it can result in a range of inefficiencies or operational failures thus necessitating immediate attention to prevent further complications. The error code P16E8 specifically points to a malfunction in communication via the LIN, which stands for Local Interconnect Network. This is a communication protocol used in vehicles to facilitate communication between various electronic components without complex wiring. The error implicates the PCM and the shutter grille, which are vital for efficient engine performance and airflow management. The PCM interprets signals from multiple sensors and manages the operation of the shutter grille. Any interruption in this communication can affect the control strategy employed by the PCM, impacting overall vehicle performance, especially under varying operational conditions. Therefore, addressing the P16E8 code is essential for ensuring the vehicle operates correctly and efficiently. Several factors could lead to the P16E8 code, beginning with poor connections between the components involved. These can occur due to corrosion, dirt, or mechanical wear that disrupts the electrical flow. Wiring issues, such as shorts or breaks in the LIN communication wire, may also lead to this error as the correct signals cannot be sent to or received from the shutter grill. Furthermore, a faulty shutter grill itself may contribute to this error. If the grill fails to operate or communicates incorrectly with the PCM, the overall system will experience disruptions that trigger this diagnostic trouble code. Each of these causes must be systematically evaluated to ensure effective troubleshooting and resolution of the communication issue. When DTC P16E8 is active, a driver may notice several symptoms indicating issues with the vehicle. The most immediate symptom is typically the illumination of the check engine light, signaling that there is an issue that needs addressing. Apart from this warning light, the vehicle may exhibit reduced engine efficiency, meaning you may experience lower fuel economy or decreased power output during operation. Additionally, there may be airflow management issues related to the shutter grill's operation, which can lead to overheating or suboptimal engine performance. If left unresolved, these symptoms can result in more significant damage to engine components or a complete failure of the shutter grille functionality. In the first troubleshooting step, begin by turning the vehicle to the on mode without starting the engine. This allows the vehicle systems to initiate and prepare for diagnostics. The next crucial action is to clear the existing DTC using the HDS which stands for Honda Diagnostic System. This process resets the vehicle's onboard computer, giving a fresh start to the diagnostic checks. After clearing the code, turn the vehicle back to the off position and then turn it on again, waiting for 10 seconds. Finally, check for pending or confirmed DTCs using the HDS once more to determine if the original issue persists. If P16E8 remains, further diagnostic steps will be required to pinpoint the underlying cause. In this second step, utilize the HDS to check for any pending or confirmed DTCs once again. Your focus should specifically 
be on whether DTC P16E2 is indicated in the system. P16E2 refers to a LIN communication error associated with the accelerator groove input, impacting engine performance management. If this code appears, you will proceed to step four of the troubleshooting process, which addresses understanding potential failures specific to the LIN with respect to the battery sensor line and other components. If P16E2 is not present, it indicates that the system does not currently have intermittent failures related to that specific error, prompting a shift to step three. Continuing with step three, again check for pending or confirmed DTCs using the HDS. This time, determine if DTC P16E3 is indicated, which corresponds to a LIN communication error involving the battery sensor. Similar to previous steps, this potential error can affect the system's ability to correctly manage energy and power delivery within the vehicle. Should DTC P16E3 be present, you will advance directly to step nine. If it is not indicated, you'll shift focus to step 14, which involves additional checks and potential corrective action for issues unrelated to the identified DTCs thus ensuring a comprehensive troubleshooting approach. The fourth troubleshooting step begins by ensuring that the vehicle is in the off lock mode to safely perform electrical disconnections. Disconnect the four P connectors from both the upper and lower shutter grill to isolate the issue further. After disconnecting these connectors, you will check for continuity between test points within the shutter grill wiring system. This test is crucial to determine if there is an uninterrupted electrical path, which would indicate healthy connections and wiring. The continuity testing should confirm whether the LIN circuit is complete and not experiencing any shorts or breaks. If continuity is detected, you proceed to step five. If not, advance to step six to address potential wiring failures. In step five, Start by jumping the SCS line with the HDS, which allows the diagnostic system to isolate any communication errors more effectively. After initiating this jump, you will wait for over one minute to ensure that the system appropriately syncs up before proceeding with the next continuity checks. Begin to check for continuity between the shutter grill terminal and the body ground while disconnecting connectors, such as the PCM, alternator, and 12-volt battery sensor one by one. This method allows you to identify potentially faulty components. If continuity ceases upon disconnecting a specific connector, that particular component is likely not the source of the issue. If continuity remains and no interruptions are found, the final step involves repairing any shorts along the LIN battery sensor wire. For this step, Reconnect the upper shutter grill 4P connector, ensuring there is a proper connection to facilitate accurate tests on the wiring. You will then disconnect the alternator 1P connector to isolate variables during the continuity check. Again, assess continuity between the alternator terminal and the body ground. It is vital to perform this check while maintaining appropriate conditions, such as placing the vehicle in off lock mode. If continuity is confirmed, it indicates that the wiring and connections are likely intact. If not, the issue may reside in a malfunctioning upper shutter grill, which should then be replaced to resolve the communication error. In step seven, Follow the protocol by reconnecting the lower shutter grill connector and preparing for continuity testing. With the alternator connector still disconnected, check continuity once again between the specified test points. It's essential to maintain the same testing conditions, having the vehicle in the off lock mode again. Confirming continuity here indicates healthy wiring through the lower shutter grill circuit. If continuity holds, it suggests that the associated wiring is intact, 
which narrows down potential faults. If continuity fails this time, replace the lower shutter grille as needed to rectify communication issues with the PCM. At this stage of troubleshooting, initiate a jump on the SCS line using the HDS and allow it to sit for over a minute, preparing for the next round of checks. Disconnect the requisite connectors, including those from the shutter grille and PCM, which allows for a clearer assessment of the LIN communication path. The main focus here is to check between the terminal of the shutter grille and the corresponding PCM pin. Confirming continuity at this point indicates that the LIN battery sensor wire is functioning correctly. If continuity is verified, the investigation should then pivot toward checking for authorized service information regarding any other previously indicated DTCs. If no continuity is found, focus on repairing potential breaks in the LIN battery sensor wire. In the ninth troubleshooting step, carefully disconnect the upper and lower shutter grille connectors, ensuring that you isolate the wiring responsible for sending signals. This action will be followed by checking for continuity again between the shutter grille connector's terminal and the vehicle's body ground. The key here is to confirm whether an uninterrupted path exists in the circuit. If continuity exists, it suggests that the wiring is intact and not contributing to the P16E8 error. If there's no continuity, the investigation must proceed to determine where the breakdown occurs. Focusing on the wiring leading back to the PCM or potentially other components in this communication loop. In this step, perform a jump on the SCS line again using the HDS, waiting more than one minute before proceeding. Check the continuity between the shutter grille terminal and the body ground while methodically disconnecting other connectors such as the PCM and the battery sensor. This is necessary to isolate which component, when disconnected, impacts the continuity reading. If you find that continuity is lost when a particular connector is removed, it indicates that the wiring to that specific part is functioning correctly. Otherwise, if continuity remains unaffected, the investigation should extend to repair any shorts within the LIN battery sensor wire, ensuring that everything is working seamlessly together. In this step, reconnect the upper 4P shutter grille connector to allow for accurate assessments of the circuits involved. Then, disconnect the battery sensor 2P connector to streamline the continuity check process. Verify continuity between the specified terminals while again maintaining the vehicle in the off mode. If continuity is confirmed, it suggests the issue lies elsewhere. And if continuity is interrupted, then the upper shutter grille could be defective and in need of replacement, completing the diagnostic resolution for the problem identified by DTC P16E8. Here, you will reconnect the lower shutter grille connector, allowing for a final continuity test. After ensuring the necessary components are set up, Check for continuity again between the specified test points. This revisit to the connectivity status is essential to confirm that the circuits linked to the lower shutter grille are functioning correctly. If continuity confirms that all is well with the wiring, you may conclude that another component is to blame for the P16E8 error. However, upon finding out that continuity fails, it points to a malfunction in the lower shutter grille that would need immediate replacement to rectify the error issue. Continuing in step 13, make another jump on the SCS line with the HDS and wait more than a minute to allow the diagnostic system to re-establish correct readings. Disconnect the necessary connectors, which include the shutter grille and the PCM connector, to gain access to check the wiring for continuity once more. Look for continuity between the shutter grille connector terminal and the corresponding PCM pin. If continuity exists, this means the LIN battery sensor wire is functioning well.
indicating that other troubleshooting steps may be warranted to guarantee resolutions. If not, Focus must return to repairing any breaks in the LIN battery sensor wire between the PCM and the shutter grill component to ensure much smoother communication in the future. In the 14th troubleshooting step, ensure the vehicle is in the off mode for safety as you check the fuses related to the shutter grill. Specifically, inspect fuse position A23 for the upper shutter grill and A22 for the lower shutter grill. Considering the possibility these may affect communication via the LIN. If the fuses remain intact and functional, you will advance to further checks. However, if either fuse is blown, this signifies a more considerable issue, potentially from decaying wiring or components connected to that specific power route. Proceed by checking for shorts in the associated wiring to maintain the integrity of the communication network as part of troubleshooting. After conducting repair activities, it's critical to perform a final verification to determine if the initial DTC P16E8 has been resolved. Use the HDS to monitor whether the DTC reappears after the repairs have been made ensuring that the communication between the PCM and shutter grill operates smoothly is essential. Additionally, observe whether the overall performance of the vehicle aligns with industry standards and expectations without any malfunction indicators. The final step in confirming success is to take the vehicle for a test drive in various operational conditions to assess if any symptoms persist or if the issue has been completely rectified, thereby affirming that all corrective actions were effective. To prevent recurrence of DTC P16E8 or similar communication errors, establish a routine maintenance schedule that emphasizes regular checks of all electrical connections and wiring components. Evaluating the physical condition of the wires can identify potential issues related to environmental wear, corrosion, or fatigue that could hinder the LIN function. Additionally, always opt for genuine Honda replacement parts. These components are specifically designed to fit and function optimally within the vehicle's systems. Clean connectors during maintenances, ensuring no dirt or corrosion interfere with performance. Keeping a close eye on these aspects will enhance the longevity and reliability of the shutter grill and related connections. In conclusion, the DTC P16E8 signifies an issue with the LIN communication specifically related to the shutter grill. A thorough troubleshooting process involves step-by-step -step checks that analyze both electrical connections and component functionality. Identifying and rectifying issues such as poor connections, shorts, or damaged components can successfully resolve this DTC, ensuring efficient vehicle operation. Regular maintenance practices, including connection checks and using genuine parts, will lessen the likelihood of encountering such issues in the future. Ultimately, attentiveness to both repairs and preventive measures is key to maintaining optimal vehicle performance. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.